Good afternoon everybody. So Jess and Emma arrive in Bali today and I'm so excited. Just getting packed up, finishing a bit of work off, but been having a bit of a funny bit of a funny spell. Just keep going like really like feverish. But anyway, we're gonna finish getting ready. Set off to you bud in about an hour. Like So, we've all got our glasses on because we can't look the monkeys in the eyes or they think Speak that up. we're a threat. Yeah, I don't want to shout. <laughs> but also, ensured we don't have any food or water on us because that will get pinched. And yeah, we're just here to see the sights, see the monkeys. Oh, oh. oh my fucking hell. It's a good mm. The, right, how do we pronounce this? So, Tegalang Lang. <laughs> Tegalang Gang. Rice fields, yes, the rice terraces. And this is our lovely view. It is gorgeous. So, we're going to have a little walk round. Just had some pickies, haven't we? Yeah. Yes, thanks Jess, appreciate <laughs> it. I thought that chocolate, not my spot. And we've just had an ice cream. We have, just to put us on. And yeah, we've got an early start tomorrow because we, uh, we're getting picked up at 20 to 3 in the morning to climb up Mount Batur. So we're going to just have a walk around tonight. Alex is very excited for Mount Batur. <laughs> I am for Mount Batur. I'm not excited for getting up at 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. So yeah, let's have a walk around and then get some food. These are coconuts. It's that her father makes it from the coconut, oh. the rice. Oh, oh lovely. Also, that match, she's doing the mango, she's got to put it on the mango. Oh, that's our little dinner spot. Kind of like Just finished eating and we're going to head back soon. Get an early night. Are you excited to wake up at 2am? Can't wait. Yeah, we Very are excited. so excited. Alex is particularly excited. It's going to be interesting seeing his face at that time in the morning. Signing off the vlog here before the camera dies. Good night, everybody. We'll see you at 2 a.m. <laughs> it's half past two in the morning. And we're up and we're ready to set off to go on the hike up Mount Batal this morning. We are exhausted to say the least. Can't see if Emma and Jess are up. I'm sure they will be because we're leaving in two minutes, but yeah. We are exhausted. Um but so 
hopefully we get a really 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 nice sunrise but for now let's go uh, so during the daytime uh, the view here is is very stunning wow Excited to see that, yeah, on the way home. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> well, we're we're we've arrived at Mount Batour. We're at, at the bottom. We don't tolerate vloggers on the mountain. Sorry. I've gone to capture the experience. Got our little head torches on. And oh god, wow. I'm just beaming. Whoa, Jess. Looking so radiant this morning. Glowing. Yeah. Oh gosh. Can't see anything. Oh, wow, it's great lighting. Um, yeah, so off we go. We're starting our trek up Mount Batour, and it is maybe 4 a.m. now. Yeah. We've taken an hour and a half to get up to the top. Wow, this camera can't see anything. It's meant to be a really clear sunrise this morning as well, so it should be such a nice view when we get up there. When you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. Go, 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 go. Got our banana sandwiches. Smile, guys. Hello. Mom. Get it over. That was tough actually, but worth it for this. Honest to God, I keep trying to film stuff and my hand is trembling. <laughs> this is the treachery of Mount Batour. I can't really see how narrow the paths were up there, but we're nearly, uh, yeah, 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 we fell got to our death. Mount Batour in my shoes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me. we are taking um, a lot of it home with us. Um, these were black at one point. Quite like this little spot, I'm quite nice, enjoying myself, it? yeah. <laughs> Just a few <laughs> mouth without your shoe. <laughs> uh, the aftermath. Waiting for the DJ to come on at 3 pm. Are you flagging yet? <laughs> <laughs> 
Have you had a sleep? I've had a little nap. Emma's had a nap. That's good. A little cat nap. Yeah. Not quite sleeping, but yeah. Yeah, it's very, very hot on this leather bed. I've had a little sleep as well. I feel like it's a tiny bit better, but I'm saying little like probably 15 minutes. We're just gonna carry on having a few drinks here and then I don't even know what we're gonna do later actually. Probably just get some more food here later and have an early night because we're all absolutely exhausted. Today it has been. I think I'm probably still in shell shock from Mount Tour. Can't lie to you. So we got up at quarter past two, we got picked up at half past two, and got to Mount Tour at probably quarter four ish. So 4 a.m. we started trekking up to the top of Mount Tour. It was 1700 meters which to me meant absolutely nothing. I just thought, mm, probably be similar to like quite a big hill in the Peak District. I thought, should be okay. Went into it totally blind. So obviously we were doing this on an empty stomach. I drank a bit of water, but not too much because I didn't want to need to pee on a mountain um, in the pitch black. I think it took us about an hour and 45 minute trek up to the top of the mountain. Probably got about an hour in and started feeling a bit funny because I've been feeling a bit ill the last few days anyway. Felt fine when I set off. Halfway up, <laughs> wasn't feeling so clever, which was a bit difficult because obviously I'd already tracked an hour up and I wanted to make it to the top for sunrise. So had a few sweets, had some water, a bit further up, still didn't feel good by this point. Everyone was like, are you okay, are you okay? Literally couldn't get my words out because I just had to focus on not passing out, not panicking and just carrying on. At this point, I'd say everyone was struggling a bit more than they thought they were going to. So we carried on, finally got to the top and it was only when the sun started to rise you realise how high up you actually were and how narrow the paths were that you just walked up but we're like okay well we're not walking back the same way walking down a different route so should be all right that was why the fun and games really began for me because we had to walk over the crater so it's an active volcano um and we had to walk over this crater and parts of the path were extremely narrow. Bearing in mind, either side of you is a drop of 1,700 meters, so you don't really want to lose your foot in. I genuinely don't know how I made it across. Like when I looked down probably twice, and I just got this wave of like, oh my god, I'm gonna faint. It was. Yeah, not really ideal. Made it, obviously. I'm here to tell the tale. But way down was tough. The way across the crater was probably, for me, the toughest. But the way down was so tough. People were just going like bobbling bobbles. Because it was like volcanic ash, you were literally just sliding down. Eight feet were sliding down like this. Although I was chaperoned down by my lovely, lovely tour guide lady. I don't know if she's going to be able to feel her fingers tonight because I was squeezing her hand very, very, very tightly. It's just a terrifying experience to be honest. I was intending on vlogging. That was just not, not a chance going to happen. But yeah, I am absolutely done for one day. Crater was lovely there this afternoon, that was nice to just go and relax. But this morning has shaken me to my core. As nice as it was for the view, it was incredible. I'm very glad I did it, but I hope to never, ever, ever do anything like that ever again. So that's today's update. I'm just gonna brush my teeth now. Hopefully I will wake up tomorrow feeling a little bit more revived and a little less. 
spend time now. So we'll see you tomorrow for rich walk and some waterfalls. Morning. Good morning. Oh, you've gone all blurry. Oh well. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Looked a little startled there. So we're just in this little cafe at the side of our hotel and we're gonna head over to head over to do a bridge walk. So uh, hopefully our legs will withstand that but uh, we're all aching a little bit today. But we've got our coffees for a bit of energy and off we go. What is it, Campalampo? Have I made that up? Potentially. Yeah. Let's go find the waterfall. 